Hey everyone, we're the Bearded Bastards with the Villains of Man, bringing you session 37 of our D&D 5th edition game, The Ancient War Reborn. I am your DM, JVD. Hey guys, I'm Evan the Great for the Villains of Man, playing the Elven Bard, Luna Silver String, Paladin of Bahamut, Arbor, Arbor Agent. Can't read my title so long, Evan the Great again. Yeah, dude. <laughs> hey, I'm the Bearded Wonder with the Villains of Man, and I play Esper Nork, the Moon Elf Rogue slash Warlock of Cloth. And last week, fun fact, I was a moon ass. Probably oh, was. <laughs> it's in the Yes. <laughs> I'm Smiley with the Villains of Man, and the only one that I wear in my shirt. <laughs> That's because you were behind on the party the last week. I'm always behind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone playing pitcher. Riker the Blue. <coughs> and last week, his sister was a moon ass. Mm-hmm. So by default, so are you. Exactly. True. So, um, Emma Gray, give me the recap. All right, recap. We are we were sent down to look for Talus, the Dragon Seeker, the White Dragon. Uh, we somehow think we might have killed the White Dragon already, but we're not sure. We get into a land full of snow, probably what ankle deep. Uh, I don't higher than that, high enough that we have a we're all invisible. Not knee deep. And we decide to get on Rupert and ride him through the snow, which sounds like a good idea until we found out we're leaving a big ass track. Uh, Four armed troll uh, and his men notice that we have this track going as we're trying to get further into the uh, compound. compound, and they catch up to us. Uh, several times, but does not spot us. There is one prop part where Vesper and she's the one that gets up on the wall, yeah. and the gargoyles are looking at her. It was very entertaining to watch all this happen. I was invisible though. Basically. Then we snuck around the building and found these uh, portals that we think are summoning stone or well portal gateways to the other places that we've been to. And one of us uh, is not very good at stealth. No, actually, uh, I am very. I wrote a twenty-four. He, he, he's very good, but he gets spotted. The fucker's got that twenty. These guys jump out of the <laughs> I think tree. I you have you had seventeen. Huh? Yeah. I think on the last one you used seventeen. Was it? Yeah, I think so. You yeah. were you were lower than normal. To me, that is where we left off. All right. So um, you also uh, does anybody remember the color of these three portal stones? <laughs> the colors you were seeing. It was um, the blue. Four. Blue was broken. What a and match. then it was yeah. green, black, yeah. and... There's only three. Really? I'm re- I know you said red. Uh-huh. Green, black, and blue, right? Uh-huh. Red and green? Red, <coughs> green, black, and blue. Red, green, black, and blue? I think red, green, red, red, black, and blue. Red, black, and blue. Mm-hmm. I knew there was blue. Yeah, yeah because you know there was blue because you just yeah. found where the blue one went to. Yeah. So, um, as we last left off, um, Vesper's trying to pull you guys with the rope. Um... Actually, could we switch Vesper and Riker on the map? No. <laughs> um, give me the one he wants. It ends badly for us. <laughs> who kind of Riker gets stuck trying to study these stones, gets a little lost, and kicks some of the snow right now. A lot of the snow's been trampled down around here, but it's just enough so these guys you're watching take notice, and you see arrows notched real fast. Um, we had already rolled initiative. Vesper, you have the initiative. I'm going to hold my turn right now. Okay. I'm going to have my crossbow ready, but I'm not going to do anything yet. All right. And to be clear, we did a sub that I've never seen these guys. Yes. Right. All right. So I'm not aware. You are, yes. Because um, no one was, I believe, whispering. But Riker, it is your turn. It is my turn? It I'm is your turn. Last. No, actually, Luda is last in initiative. Oh, then my I'm, guys go next. And then I'm going to keep stealthing back towards the hut. You need to reroll me stealth then, because you've been uh, spotted. I mean, let's see how we start out today. Twenty-one. I got an eighteen out of one of them. That's my highest one. Eighteen and a sixteen. So um, you're trying to stealth back, Luda Vesper. Roll me perceptions. All right. This is for looking. Bam! I see the first roll of this game. Uh, 23. Uh, you guys turn around and you notice these guys, they have, they have short bows, notch, arrows, notch, and they're looking for something. And they see nothing. They, they look like they see nothing, but they're very aware that something is out here in this area. Um, is their turn? Uh, you guys are watching them. 
One of them does the whole points at his eyes, points out. The other one puts his short bow up, pulls a short sword, and slides down from the tree. Um, he's in your direction. Roll me percentiles. Rocker, you're in last. Uh, 81 or up, and he kind of finds you. He stumbles into you. He's coming that direction. 52. Okay. So um, you're very, very still. You're trying to stealth, and he's literally like 10 foot from you on Evan's side. So that, the other guy. Yeah. That one right there. Yep. So, so does yeah, like he walk out in front of me? No, oh, no, he's beside you. He's right. looking around. Like, but I'm not aware of this guy. Yes, you're very aware of this guy. Because you all of a sudden you, you're trying to stealth and then you hear you you hear something yeah. work, like slide down the tree and you look and then there's a guy looking. I mean he's all covered in white. Think like Storm Shadow yeah. from G.I. Joe, all in white. And you can't believe you've never seen him there. But you realize he's very much on that somebody's out here. Yeah. Luda. I, I'm still probably blaming Luda for it. <laughs> Makes sense. I'm still invisible. I'm going to move for the damage. She's right here. That is it. Whoa, we started Holy off bad. Shit. What are you doing? I'm going to move with advantage. I'm invisible. Okay. But it don't matter. I wrote shit. Uh, oh, not bad. I still had a 17 with a 4. Okay, as soon as I hear <laughs> I have an 11 on perception with this guy that's on the ground. Half movement. The, the other movement. guy. So that's where that's I'm a twelve. Going. I rolled an eight and nine. I have a plus three. Wow. So you're all Damn. right right now. Well, I move fifteen oh, foot shit. with my movement, and then I'm going to move up next to this tree. Which direction is the thingy so I could put my guy towards it? What do you mean thingy? The hut. Oh, um, just straight back this way. Uh, so half move. That's where I move. I move right up next to his tree. Well, he that's a stone or stone. Is he on it or behind? No, it? he's up in a tree. Yeah. He's oh. like 10 feet away from you. And that's where I wanted to move up to his tree. Okay, okay. just move up oh. to him. He's in a tree. You're in a treed area. Right. You see these paths that come out of where you're at. Right. Uh, that it? Yeah. All right. I'll that's there just in case. Vesper. Okay. You so see this guy. He is looking around. All right. And we do not know. And the thing is, you're cringing because you could hear Luda. Walking <coughs> away, you can't see her because you're under two different invisibility Passive spells. Passive perception, you can see the fuck yes. <laughs> But you notice this guy is very rare that something is out here right now. Yeah, you know where Luda or Riker is. Yes. You know the rope grew slack. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I forgot we had that rope on us. And that means you let go of it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to move up on him. Stealth. Um, yeah, that's uh, 30. You got a 21. <laughs> <laughs> and um, let's see, my blade of thousand cuts here. Plus 15 damage. Oh, there we go. All right. So, I'm uh, That's uh, 20 set, uh, 26. Uh, that'll hit him. For sure. Give me more dice. And then, uh, can we go ahead and run my second attack now before I Yeah, just go ahead and roll it all out. I've got no reductions or anything. Uh, 20. Uh, that will hit him. Okay. Cool. All right, so. Uh, let's see here. 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Uh, 44 on the first attack. All right. And then... Twenty-three damage on the second. Twenty-three damage on the second. So that has a total of sixty-seven? Correct. Yeah. He's still up. Holy shit. Yeah. These guys are assassins. He's so badass we couldn't see him in a tree. How's he feeling? <laughs> <laughs> you, you've heard him, but it makes you very apparent that you're there now. Um, oh, then on oh, my bonus action, 
<laughs> I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to go back here and try to hide. All right, go for it. You have disadvantage. Okay. Because you are very much seen now. Yeah, you're not one that visible. Okay, let's go. Um, twenty-five. I've got a twenty-seven. Okay. Damn it, my fucker. <laughs> It's hard, to, it's hard to hide <laughs> when you just could have got up and you're trying to run away. Hey, it's happened before, I thought. Hey. All right. Because um, it's hard to let you get away with that. Right. Okay, so you're done, Riker. Um, you oh. just seen your, oh, your back's to this place, but you just heard this guy yell out and he grunted. And then you turn to see your sister running away with a bloody sword. <laughs> this guy's bleeding. <laughs> Them. It doesn't matter. They'll be fine. That's head right here when he comes visible. <laughs> oh, I imagine it's going to get interesting really fast. It is. Stealth is optional, right? They are within 20 <laughs> feet of each other, right? Yeah, you have 10 seconds. No, I don't want to do it. I'm going to have a snap and stab right here. Okay. It's 20 foot radius. Everyone in it, including Luda, but I don't know if she's there. Mm-hmm. Because I'm focusing on him. But he needs to make a intelligence save. Okay, I have a problem with that. Roll me a D6 from the guy in the tree. If you roll a 5 or 6, he's 25, 30 foot in the tree. That's fine. One. One. So he's, he's in it. All right. Okay, so what do they need? Intelligence save and throw. I got a 7 in that. Uh, um, my highest one is a 18. That's the guy in the tree. 13. That guy barely makes it. Okay. What'd you get? 13. Oh, you're... Is it, the effect of this spell is fucking awesome. You know Bane? Mm-hmm. Oh my it's God. Bane, but it's a D6, and oh. it's not concentration. Cool. Great. You hit, you hit your power the way I did I know it was there. That's 10, 5, so 15, 19, 25, 30. Yeah, let's see. 34 damage. To all of them? Yes. And me. Psychic. <clears throat> All right, um, the guy's got a 24 on acrobatics trying to stay up in the tree. How much damage was that? Uh, 34. All right, the guy best for attack is down. Uh, what is that spell called? Synaptic Static. It's, it's in Xanathar's. It's in Xanathar's. Uh, give me your Xanathar's guy. I don't no. have it with you. Oh, thank you, sir. Um, yeah. Psychic damage, they fail. It's a D6 Bane, more or less. Okay, one well, okay what's it called? Synaptic Static. Synaptic Static. I've got an idea. I've got. I wonder what. No it's font spell. Is it loud? No, it's no. mental. That's uh-huh. exactly what I was looking for, though. Because it's mental with that. If it depending on how it is, if someone was to scream out in pain over it, you know what I mean. Which would suck because I picked it just specifically because they want to make thunder or anything yeah. else. <laughs> That's the a bit my skill set. <laughs> okay, he has mental thoughts for one minute. Yeah. He rolls a d6 and subtracts the number rolled from the all tax ability checks. Constitution same throws maintain concentration. All right, that's what I need to know because it's his turn. He can shout out a warning. Yeah. He has mental thoughts. That's why I was wondering. All right, so he's, a, he's like confused, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. No, that's what I was wanting to know because it's their turn. Yeah, he yeah. can shout out a warning, but he can't. He's felt his save. Um, he does see both of you guys. Um... Realizing you've caused this, he's going to take a shot at you right. with a minus. Throw me a d6, please. Four. All right. I think that wipes out most of his attack to a plus two. But I still got a 19 and a 14, so I'll hit you with one. Yep. For seven points of damage as he manages to shoot an arrow off at you in this. So, I'm glaring daggers at Vesper. All right. Um, <laughs> you fucked it up. <laughs> you don't know that. Luda, I do. you I were still invisible. Um, did you, did make you make your save? I got, a, I got a concentration save because I have a spell on me. Oh. Help me with that. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Did you Minus fail? Five. Huh? I failed his thing, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah, so you have to maintain the concentration. Yeah, and even if you get, you have a minor, you have to roll a d6 and subtract yeah. it. So uh, what did you just roll? Five. A, no, on me. What did you Ooh. roll on me? Four? Yeah. Oh, you Three. roll it? No, he, you're still going with the four. You're going with four. Oh, okay. Yeah, I only got a uh, zero. So this is a straight die roll. Well, you only have to roll a 12. 
Yeah, I got negative four. I got to roll 16 or higher. Counts. <laughs> 19. Hey, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Cool. Hey. All right. Almost now I do believe with that spell, you have to roll a concentration to keep a spell. Now that you have muddled thoughts. I think I do. So now you have to roll another one. I believe it's just whenever they have to do concentration. Yeah, but no, that's for being attacked by the spell. Yeah. Now it's to hold a spell up on his turn. It's off. Oh, yeah, so you're not invisible anymore. I don't think it's going to matter. It's just the point. Uh, but you do see this guy manage to... That's what I kept trying to do to the damn dragon. Yeah, that, is, that, was, that, was, that was good. This might be cool. Might not be. Yeah, 10 seconds. 10. I'm going to cast my no. sword, my wind. Off All my right. Sword. Go for it. He's got to make a DC save 19 or take uh, 46 and not... I rolled a 6. All right. He takes... Uh, you can add uh, 2d6 of that for hot damage. 16. 19 points of damage, and he is not prone. So hopefully, yeah, he fell. He, he falls 20 feet from a tree. <laughs> yeah, he's prone. He's fall. He fell from a tree. I do that. And I uh, back up a little bit because he's on his back. I fall damage. Right. Uh, uh, but you already did fall damage. You're moving. If you want to move yeah. backwards, you can. Uh, I want to back up to my allies. All right. Um, and Lula walks out from where that guy was. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> Percentiles, Rocker, um, 71 or higher, someone notices this. Because you've got patrols and stuff walking yeah, around. Well, I've got 52. Okay, so no patrols have noticed this yet. Because you're only 100 foot from the lodge. You're just out in the tree. That's why I was trying to do wind and you, you know there's a gargoyle <laughs> around that's been yeah. watching everybody. That's where it is. Your turn. <coughs> I'm going to move here. And I'm going to uh, attack the prone bastard. I'm going to finish him. Uh, plus 10 to damage. He's all right. right. And then. I'll box him for to do something at the top of the round. I'll just wait for him to be done. Uh, it eight, is important. 18. 18 does hit him. And then a 26. That does hit him. He is well. prone, so I think he has advantage. So do I, do I get sneak attack on that? Uh, think? yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, He's in a prone position. He's right. I mean, I don't know why not. Right. Six, seven, eight. Thirty-four damage on the first attack. All right. Uh, he's dead on the first strike. Okay. There's one past his hit points. <coughs> um, as you're doing this, you hear someone shouting at the top of the lungs, We've got a body! Oh, I know where that is. I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about that literally. Whenever I said top of the I was like, I bet I know what it is. Mm-hmm. It's either that or a fucking... Uh, and you hear it, and then you hear it just echo as everybody's yelling... I whisper, I whisper to myself, we have two more. Oh. <laughs> Are we out of, out of uh, initiative now? Uh, No, because you've heard okay. there's a body, so you hear everybody else shouting. Okay. Okay, that means that they're a good distance away. Uh, we need to get the fuck back. Mm-hmm. We need to drag these bodies into the circle so it looks like we came through the circle. They found the body in the opposite direction. I know, but maybe we came through the circle and we're headed out that way. If there's bodies here and it looks like we came through the circle... Maybe we came here and we're leaving and we're not in the compound anymore. Well, tell we already get inside the circle, so that is, has already been achieved. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty seconds to make a plan. Twenty. All right. Get to the woods. Eighteen. Boom. Nineteen. What? Invisible. Okay. Are you invisible to all of us, or just you? Just me. Oh, okay. Talking in greater invisibility. Thirteen. Invisible. Okay. okay. We know where we're going. I'm going to take you out of the initiative with that. Okay. Right. What are you doing? You're under the lodge. With the shouts of alarm that there's a body? Yeah, that was the plan. Yeah. Okay. yeah, we have to get that mask. If nothing else, we have to get rid of Talus. Okay. All right. Um, um, the, the shouts of alarm does not stop patrols. That just makes everybody more right. aware that something is going on. Um, roll me percentiles. Roger, you've got seven right there. 51% or more, you get a patrol, come back here. 78 you have a patrol running your way towards these teleportation stones. Yeah. Uh, you're realizing these are very important to this place. Uh, you've got a patrol, and it's three cultists to these ambush drakes. Oh. And they are coming your direction. Put them out here in the front in the open. That's pretty good right where they're at. 
God give them an act around. The ambush strikes will be leading the way. No, 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 they will be in a line. Oh. And the ambush strikes, no, 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 like side to side. Oh, man. Not, not, not a PC line. It, yeah, and it's it moving line. slowly closer to us. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> lightning bolt. <laughs> well, they've just run off their patrol when these guard drakes, these ambush drakes, are leading the way. Yeah, um, what are you doing? Uh, I'm moving the fuck away from these bodies. Um, like this way. I will send a quick <clears throat> message to Vesper, like the cantrip. Uh huh. Um, are we dealing with them or letting them pass? Pass. Then let's go. We're, I'm going towards the lodge. Okay, but here's the thing. Who know you guys know you're in the lodge, but you can't see each other. I just I'm not paying attention. Okay, I do need stealth rolls because I mean, you are moving away. I had no answer for that to clarify. <laughs> Thirty-two. And mine is a twenty. Go back to the old days. No, a thirty. Thirty-one. See, it's not that I'm bad at this stuff. I just have a plus nine bonus to it. Roll it's that I don't have like double right proficiency. No, I got a sixteen. Okay. Yeah. I have a nineteen, yeah. a twenty, and a twenty-one. I roll. Yeah. I roll pretty high on three of these guys. I step on a twig. <laughs> uh, two of the guards realize someone's out here. They hear something. So does one of the drakes, and they realize you all are on that side. They hear something that way. <laughs> so, keeping up with the uh, initiatives that we've pre-rolled beforehand, let me uh, get some of these out here. We're gonna, which are almost the exact same thing in a way. Um, no, these are different. But Vesper is still at the top of the initiative. So, so these guys are coming our way. Okay, um, Evan, if you'll move the Drake closest to a rocker, about ten foot forward, that's like fifteen. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, and then the two closest to that Drake with behind him. There you go. These guys notice you. The other two are looking, and the guys that are coming forward are telling them to go straight forward. So you got guys veering your direction, guys going straight forward to the portal stones. Okay, I'm going to... Let's see. I'm going to dash once we get over here to get back over here behind them. Okay. And if you're stealth. dashing, you need only a stealth, but you don't have advantage. You're running. Okay. I want disadvantage. Disadvantage? Yes, because you're dashing. Okay. So you're. That's still not bad. That's uh, 27. I don't think I can beat that at all. No. Because the highest I've got is four <laughs> on a roll, but I rolled real high, so not close enough. But you do manage to sneak around these guys. Is that your full movement? Is uh, your full action? I haven't attacked. I'm going to hold my attack action for now. All right, roll me a perception. You're looking as you're moving back there. Um, 30. I'm not even... That's still you're very hard. Um, you notice, like, there was a gargoyle at that corner of the building... And like I said, there's gargles all the way around. You notice there's more back here. You notice one of them moved just slightly, its head looking around. And now you know there's also a gargoyle back here on the roof watching. Okay. From where you're at. Um, you taking this shot? Uh, no, I'm not shooting. All right. Riker, um, I have the initiative. Do they have eyes on the circle, the teleportation circle through the trees? They're going that way right now. But can they see it through the trees? You're about to find out. Because if they can, want to do a minor illusion. Just like from what I can see of them. Because right. here's the thing. You can yeah. tell they are going this way. Yeah. I mean, they're heading. You've got <coughs> them guys that heard you heading towards you. Because they're looking. They I mean, they have advantage on anything to find you. The other two are heading towards circles. Right. Can I do like a minor illusion flash over here to make it look like the circle activated? Okay. I have an issue with that because they have eyes on this. So if you're changing the terrain... It could be very easily to notice something. Not the train, just a quick flash, like the circle just went off. Uh, like someone just teleported. But you can, but who's going to be there? Well, I just wanted to show up where they could just see something. Maybe see. like through the yeah. trees, like see it flash off. Go for yeah. it. Sure. Yeah, and I want to do that and then just start working this way. <laughs> you will save against your minor illusion. Uh, I think Pretty it's sure. investigation versus my save. Okay, what's your save? 
18. 18. I got a 20 on one. Okay, so you have a cultist that notices the flash and he points. He's, someone's activated the teleportation circles. Roll me a D6. Because you got three of them. One. Okay, that's the first one. That's the black one. That's right. what he yells for. Someone's activated the black teleportation circle. Right. And I'm just like working away, just trying Which to. Which would be the closest to Luna, because he's on that side. I, I'll just make a distraction so to cover my ass. All right. I think that was 30 feet. Are you done? Yes. Um, Luda. They're so a lot of people. Uh, all right, I'm going to continue to run in their direction. Uh, actually, walk, not running. It's only 15 foot, so I don't get disadvantage. I'm still invisible. You got full movement out in this area. Oh, okay. So there's, it's all been walked down. I only rolled an 18, but it's full movement, so I'm going to move you up here. You have an advantage. Yeah, I did. A three and a five. You got an 18? Yeah, I got a 13 plus five. So now I've rolled a stealth. Uh, yes, please. I rolled really low. I do have a um, high stealth. So it's probably safe. 25. The, all of them really notice you, besides one oh, drink. Oh, shit. Yes. I rolled two 19 to 17 and 18, and the other one was full. So I move real slow. Well, do I notice that they notice me? Or you no? step on a twig, and they all look in that direction. Mm -hmm. uh, can I Do you initiate? have minor illusion to make a buddy? <laughs> Did you take a double move? No. Okay, so you can. If you want to do something, if you set a reaction, you can. I look at them like I'm seen, so I'm going to do something. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm in order now. No for your D6, but. <laughs> yeah, because you're still playing. Oh, yeah. Lou's playing Lou. One. She thinks she's seen, and these guys start yelling. Is it a free action to facepalm? Nope. Oh, um, for you, yeah. yeah. Facepalm yes. all you want. Ah. <laughs> we, we do it in sync, but you just can't tell what's most invisible. Yeah. All I hear is. <laughs> <laughs> How far is a uh, Misty Step? 30 foot. <laughs> Oh my god, you're a Missy Step. Where are you going to Missy Step to? <laughs> I'm going to start attacking. Oh my god. Well, okay, what is your reasoning behind this? Besides, you've you been said all of them seen me. Yeah, they, no, I said they look in your direction. You're invisible. Oh, never mind. To be fair, that does sound like a Luna thing to do. <laughs> yes, it is. I thought I was you, seen. You step on a twig, they all look in your direction. You're invisible. Uh, they can't see you. Like, fuck it, go. <laughs> but they do know there's stuff over there, so. Well, since I know, I, I thought they seen me, but I forgot I was invisible. So instead of attacking, I am going to uh, misty step 30 feet, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and then do another move action. Quick question. I don't want to be, to be an asshole. Are you invisible or greater? Yeah, invisible. yeah, everybody's invisible. But are you greater invisible? No. Oh, there's. I've seen. I've seen. <laughs> I've seen I, I go, I'm sorry. I've been I'm here. So come I, I was waiting. It's fine. Because <laughs> yeah. they're going to last all of a sudden. Luna's there. Because that's yeah. why I went greater invisible. Well, I, I bamf over here. I come invisible. And then I run 30 feet that way. And I'm rolling a high. But I don't know. I'm. She's panicked. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, you know they, what it is? She, <laughs> she's muddled. <laughs> they definitely said that. You got zero. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got a zero right. on stealth and they're running away. She, has their turn. She's just hitting um, everything. Just <laughs> I think I was better off the final. Oh, them. man, this might be where everybody dies. I think I was better off the final. Not me. I'm still invisible. Yeah, this is going <laughs> south. I'm leaving. <laughs> um, this gargoyle <laughs> roars really loudly. Someone see. Someone see. Um, I'm just the other two the other guys turn one of them because you flashed yeah really draws their attention to where two dead bodies are yeah they think I and did so it. you hear someone someone yell bodies and then you hear the gargoyle roar you all turn around and look at the gargoyle and there's Luda because she's muddle minded yeah from the synaxis spell <laughs> Oh, all right. You know, I would blame myself if <laughs> I'm enjoying this too much. <laughs> We're still gonna die. We're still gonna die so hard. <laughs> all right, Evan, if you will put this gargoyle right in front of you. Oh yeah. Um, oh my God, it's terrible. Now here, 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 here is the bad thing. It's their turn. It's what um, thinks. That group that's right directly in front of you, Vesper, has a very good chance of running into you. Because if you look at the angle from where you're at with Luda, 
Those three are going to run that way. So I have a question. Since I didn't attack last turn, since I held that, can I go ahead and fire? Nope. No. <laughs> that turn is passed. There is there is no ready action called or anything. Okay. Um. Woo. I just right. hope they all line up. I'm taking negatives because of you. I need <laughs> three, <laughs> three, three of them. No, I didn't roll there. If you roll 31 or higher, these guys run into you. You need three rolls. But you can build. It's okay. No, there's a fucking 90. Okay, that's <laughs> one of them. That's a, that's a nine. nine. That's a nine. Oh, nine. Double zero nine. nine. Okay. Yeah, that's my a, bad. It's a big difference. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> that is that's more 54. 54. All right. One of them manages to hit you now for the back one. That's eight. eight. Okay, so the cultist furthest from you by the drawer gate manages to run into you. I think he meant this one. That one, yes. Oh, Not sure. the other one, yeah. The other one's Those other two are running to, to you, Evan. Oh, okay. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You put the other guard drake. Thank you. What, what, you move that guard drake with you, Evan. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. To that 40 speed, right? Okay, yes. All right. Well, All right. <laughs> Just... <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Put a swing with disadvantage on you, invisible person, because someone just bumped into you. Well, I wrote a 20. And a 1. And a 16. So, with my cultist mm -hmm. attack here, that would be a 21. I will uncanny dodge it. Alright. Discuss it online, AG. This one or this one? Very important. Uh -huh. You drop it. Nine. Uh, for 12 damage, as he comes across with this dagger, and you feel it, it's cold, it bites. Almost like you've been buried in, with like, in the ice when he stabs you. And you feel it, and he realizes that you're there. Um, Big mistake is what I say to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, this is just... Too funny. It's All fun right. though. It, it is. is. Fucking Luda. Oh my god. With Riker and Vesper saying at the exact same damn time. Yeah, I thought I was saying it, man. You were now. You are heard. <laughs> Alright, Luda, the gargoyle swoops in at you. I had a critical. Oh god. Oh! A 19 on a bite, on a claw. And I got one more claw. That's a hit. You are taking it all. And a 21. Oh. You're taking so, it all on the ass, Luda. It's okay. She's a big girl. <laughs> yeah, you've been prepared for damage all, though. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. You don't know that. You, know, me. You, do, you don't know that. For 32 damage from all three attacks from this gargoyle. It's okay. You can yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. As you guys, <laughs> you as you guys do this, oh, from the back door, the back door swings open. Oh, God. And then coming out the doorway, Vesper or the four people... That you seen yeah. in the front of the courtyard talking to the dragon. Around each side <laughs> of the building are two more patrols. You hear the roar of a dragon. Fuck me. Is it a little, a little roar or a big roar? It's echoing off in the distance. You cannot tell. I'm going by for, the for all you know, it. it might be a small one within your vicinity, or it might be a big one way off in the distance. For... But you can tell by its pattern that it's an alarm. Yeah. All right. Fucking Luda. <laughs> <laughs> Vesper. Technically, this is your fault. No. For she zero spells. Your zero fault. One. But you done a spell that jacked her up. It's technically your fault. It's not my fault. I could not see her. <laughs> but you knew she was invisible somewhere. I did not know where she was. Or what do you got, Vesper? All right. So I'm doing lightning damage on these. And um, Booming Blade's the one that adds a d6, right? Uh, for your level, you're 16, right? Yeah. 2d8. 2d8? Yeah, and they move, they take 3d8 more. Okay, I'm going to cast the Cantrip Bloomy Blade as I come down. Okay. How many attacks you got? Two. Okay. I'm going to both at the same time. Wow. 19 on each attack. That'll hit. That'll hit. Boom, boom. You are boom. invisible. Huh? You are invisible. No, so. he ran into me. Yeah, but you're still invisible. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're still invisible. Oh, no, well, he stabbed me. Yeah, but that don't mean that you're... He got lucky. Yeah, he just got <laughs> lucky. That's what I said. He's not visible now. Invisible but now. now you're visible, and you just sounded your own alarm twice with yeah. booming blade. Let's do this. And then, uh... <laughs> okay. 
How's your roll? You want me to roll all the damage at one time? Uh, yes, you can. Okay. How much? What is your minimum? Put it this way. Uh, um, my minimum would be. How many dice are you rolling? Uh, one, two, three, four, four d six and two d eight. Uh, with you're gonna kill him. Uh, he doesn't have that many hit points. I didn't have sneak attack. Hit him, so he has to make you're, you're invisible. Yeah, you're invisible. Oh, well, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's a shit ton of dice. Okay, he's he's, he's yeah, dead. I hit him, so he has to roll concentration, so the spell gets off of me. So he's dead. It's not concentration. And you're busy. Oh, that sucks. You're going to take a movement. Uh, <laughs> it counts. It yeah. should be almost over now. I'm going to go ahead and dash back. Totally want to gas the end, though. <laughs> You do. Oh, I'm say you do. Actually, keeping up with rounds, that's not over yet. You are in the yeah. sixth round since then. No, I've got a long time. Yeah, I said almost. Yeah. So you got four more rounds. See, I missed count. I thought it was two. So you t- booking it. Yeah, I'm just going back. Oh, all right. Riker, you're the whole but time. But you've I'm seen your ball. sister <laughs> here. I'm like, fucking. I'm here for Mr. 15, 20. Or go back to five. Lightning bolt in this straight line on these guys. Yes. All right. And you're greater invisible, right? Yes. You casted that when you were back there. Back here. On the yeah. last round. All right. So I'm counting the rounds there. That would be four. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, eighty-eight damage. Eighty-eight Get damage. Same for half. I got a twenty seventeen. And I'm sure the 10 misses. That would be a 13. What do I need? Um, 18. Okay, yeah. The back guy fails. All right. So that's... And that's the three in the eight, line, right? 10. Yeah. Okay. 10, 14, 18, 25. 25. Okay. Yeah. 25 damage. You yep. Drops all three of them. Wait, I get half on the other two. The other two are still up. The back guy. No, I thought only one there. You yeah, right? I have one that failed. One that failed. You rolled a 20, a 14, and a 10. No, a 20, a 17, and then oh, a 10. Yeah. The back guy failed. But the 10 and the 17 both failed. Okay, no, the 17 oh, was the Oh, 17 dice. was the, okay, yes. I misunderstood. Right. Yeah, I, he has yeah. got a 20. So this guy dropped. Mm-hmm. And the other two are up. So uh, there, I moved, I kept moving. All right. So I don't know where I'm at. So. You want a stealth roll for my movement? Uh, No, because yeah. lightning. Th- booming blade, everybody's I mean, I mean, so they don't know where I went or where I moved to. You're all right. Yeah. I'm not, I thought you were going to bother that right now. Luda, you're muddle-minded. People were running towards you. A gargoyle just got in your face that flew right off the roof. See, uh, I, didn't, I didn't do it again. <laughs> what are you going to do? Good, bro. You see people running out the back door. You've got a patrol coming out from each side of this building. It's all like the Wonder Woman covers where she's got her sword. You see the reflection of the bad guys in it. That's the stance she's in. As I enter my vow of vengeance. But you're minded It's wobbly. Yeah. As a vow of vengeance, which is still going to suck, it gives me advantage on attack rolls against this gargoyle until he or me are dead. Uh, but I still take his negative, so we're going to roll that. Is that every round? Because I was yes. just... Okay, so... Yeah. What, four. What'd you roll? Brother, I got advantage. But hey, do you want to play a Zen after this? No. Uh, <laughs> They're cool. If you guys all live. Uh, here we go. Advantage, but a negative four. There's no moral command. Basically, I have a six oh. attack with advantage. All right. right. Six, uh, 16 on the first attack. Um, that will that will hit. Okay. See, you're, you're fine. Your second fine. attack, uh, 24. All right, that'll okay. hit. And my last and third attack is a 18. Uh, that'll hit two. See, I will smite I evil well. with a second level spell three times, which will lose all my second level spell slots. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to need that or not, but this is a gargoyle, and I think he's pretty tough. Uh, 3d8 plus my weapon, d8 plus 7. So, ooh, 9, 14, 16 on the first attack. All right. Second attack is a lot 14, more. 21, 29, 35 on the second attack. Hot. And high again. Uh, 16, 19, 24, 28. 33. Yeah, one hit point after your second attack, you drop this going okay. I mean, you just sort of like slicing all my third level real fast. fast. Our second level spells with that. Okay, are you taking a movement? You've got guys busting yes. out this door in this uh, magnus lodge. He's there. I got thirty movement. Do I, is he visible? 
Oh, uh, he is not invisible. You see Vesper now, though, and you do have guys running towards you. Are you sure see that she uh, that she actually sees me? Because you know. Yeah, Yo, you're. That's <laughs> see the map how it is. It's an open area. I know, uh, I'm just saying. Yeah. It, it, it is Luda, you know. Dude, she's a little behind you. <laughs> she is at her back to be. Fair. <laughs> I moved here. Uh, I'm pretty sure pass is still All with this higher right. than passive perception. <laughs> Their turn. Yes. Um, <laughs> that guard drake, that ambush drake right there, runs towards you, Luda. The <laughs> guard and the other ambush drake run towards Vesper. Um, Luda, in the next round, the people that come out the back door will be on you. Okay. So, Vesper, I have a 19 all on the money. For 12 damage, and this dude's dagger bites real cold, just I like will, the rest of them. I will uncanny dodge it. The Drake on you, uh, he bites. That would be a 7. Um, the Drake on Luda, that would be a 22. <clears throat> for 2 damage, my minimum. <laughs> If it counts, Luda, I could probably buy you an extra turn before they get to you. All right. Because well, then I can heal up. Yeah. Um, Luda, you have ran. Vesper, you are facing the large, you and Rocker, Romy Perceptions side. Why? I'm proficient in that. 14. Uh, 28. Okay. <coughs> um, you're a bit distracted. You need a 15. But you see it, Vesper. Okay, so you see these people come out of Lodge. You see everything but this last thing, Riker. You realize that they are going to be on Luda within the end of this round. So the next round, they will be here. The two guys coming from around, the two groups coming around from the corner, just like the patrol just come at you, they will be here in two rounds. You, that's what all you see, Riker. Vesper, you look up because you keep hearing this roar, and off past the lodge, down the road, here comes this small white dragon. And you realize as fast as he's moving, he will probably be here the next round. Because he's booking it. Okay. It is your turn, Vesper. Alright, so I got three attacks. I got uh, plus, uh, plus five damage on each attack. Now let me remind you at the beginning of this round, <clears throat> you do know there's a troll out here. There are more than people that are coming at you than just what you've seen. Right. Just a reminder. And people are yelling bodies, at, you know, these guys yell bodies at the teleporter. Just um, warning you. Now, do you say Alice was with the ones that were coming from the Mars? Yep. Mm -hmm. She awesome. just That was a 16 for not So he's the one on the code. So, uh, 26, 20, and 20. All three attacks. Uh, 26, 20, 20, yep. Um, well, you've got two of them on you. Oh, yeah, that's true. I guess... How bad do they look? I saw them They're healthy. Them no, oh, yeah, no, we're weak, yeah. You will probably kill them just with your attacks. Okay, so... You just need to let me know which one you're giving two to, which one you're giving one to. I'll give, I'll give two to the guard drake and one to the... That's smart, because the guard drake's got 11 hit points, the guard's got five. Okay. So I'm just going to say you drop them, because you should do enough damage to kill them. Yeah, okay. And what do you do? Because you see these guys coming. Um, so you've got literally six more guards coming, four more drakes coming, everybody that is considered <coughs> bosses and a dragon coming at you. I'm going to try to step back in these trees and hide. Okay, that's not a very dense area, but yeah, you can. Okay. Wearing your dark clothes with your dark hood in a background of white. Right. 30. Oh. 30? Okay. <laughs> just, it worked! <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. In white, you've got blood on you, so yeah. give me disadvantage one more, one more time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he rolled higher. I rolled it higher. So you know, <laughs> all right, cool, cool, cool. That's why you're a master at this stuff. Um, That's for his bay. <laughs> uh, I've been getting you guys backwards. Luda, you're first. Uh, let's see here. Oh, what's that mean? No, I for some reason I was thinking you guys backwards. I'm gonna attack this Drake three That's times. That's what I said at the beginning. Yeah, I, I wouldn't pay no attention. Luda's whole incident here has got me all jacked oh, yeah. up. D six. I rolled a nineteen. <laughs> I rolled a six. All right, thirteen plus ten. 
Not bad. So 23. I, you I have to like one more round left on this, right? After so, this. Um, uh, nine on the second one. This is actually the third hit is a fifth round. Eighteen. That he got it. No, yeah, he's got three more rounds after this. All right, I hit it I'm twice. Keep it around. All right. You skipped around, I added around. Yeah. I'm going to so, smite first level on both of them. Yeah, he's I got three after this. I wouldn't smite. Why? I don't know. I don't, All right, smite on the you're first about, one. You're about to be ambushed. Yeah, smite on the first one. Didn't you make oh, your Oh, you're, they you're, I mean, you're around too, so. Yeah, but, but. No, I wrote a roll. No, his back was to all of this. He was, she was running from the log. Look at that. Damn. That is, uh, 16, it's 24, 30-something. It's dead. <laughs> all right, so I swing and smite, and the second one I swing at the air. Well, 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 to be fair, I am hiding, though. So, that's very true. I got With a bonus action, I want to use my Morden's Heart to heal 68. I forgot I had that until James said, you go board the mm-hmm. And then I'm going to move 30 feet this way. 5, yeah, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, so we're all moving back? Uh, that's what they're doing. Uh, uh, you, you were going four. Well, Talos is coming towards me. But if I were to continue, I'd, I'm going to start fighting off of the map. That's why I'm asking. Okay, well, they're coming. Um, they will be where Luda just was at the beginning of the next yeah. round. But it is your turn. Um, Are you coming to award me? Yeah. Yeah. You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll, me a per- roll me a perception. Minus six. See if you see uh, Vesper out there. Oh. I went, go away. Plus, uh, <laughs> plus three with the six. So it only gives me a six. A three instead of a nine. So three and 13. Nope, you can't see Vesper uh, hiding in these trees. She's like rubbing snow on her and whatnot. Try I'm to running hide. that direction to try to get into the forest. I feel like I'm better. Well, there. there's, there's this path around yeah. this area. You just see stay this. there. I'm going to throw oh. Shatter out. Did just stay there. I'm going right. to use Chill Touch on my can- Chill Touch can grip on Talus. Okay, she's mm. far away. How uh, far is that? Uh, okay, I from think it's a 100 foot range. Yeah, for when she's at 30... I mean, they're using all their movement to just to get to that spot. Well, you said they'll be here next round. Oh, I mean, you go ahead and yeah. use it. That's fine. Well, it, should, it should be like within 60 feet. That's fine. I'm just doing it just to add her on. That's fine. That just lets people know that there's somebody invisible out there. Well, I thought they saw the lightning bolt. Oh, yeah, they've seen yeah. that. Yeah, I'm just saying they know somebody's out here. 28. They're going to know okay. where these bodies out here. What's the attack on that? 28? Yeah. The bad uh, thing about triple that amount. Yeah. And then there's 3d8 necrotic. Nine, 16 damage. I think I can throw shatter out okay, of that. 16 damage on her. Yeah, then I'm my one sword swipe for 20 foot. 20 the hit them all, knock them prone. You got shatter. I'm moving to here. Got a wave. I had to read what that is. I can't Anything I want to do on the bonus action? <coughs> <coughs> Nothing I want to do as a bonus action. All right, so you are done? Yes. All right. Um, it's the end of this round. Uh, Talus and them, she yells, check that side of the forest. And you see the guards coming off from the, my left towards your direction in the forest. Um, the other guys are coming off in the direction of the forest. And they're coming forward, and the dragon starts swooping lower to where you guys are. Yeah.